when everybody is against you or don't believe in you no more. It's a lonely feeling. Oh, it, it hurts very badly. I know what that's like. They look at you with that look and say, why don't you try something else? Why don't you give up? Get away from these people that's in your life that ain't doing nothing. Get away from people in your life that's hating. Get away from them. Get away from them. If you take an oak tree seed and you put it in a two foot pot, that seed will never become the oak tree that oak trees are capable of becoming because it's gonna get stifled by the two foot pot. Now check this out, ain't nothing wrong with the seed. The seed just fell prey to the environment. Don't you allow your environment to dictate the oak tree that you become. Anytime you move from being normal to trying to be exceptional, people aren't gonna like this. Those normal people, it makes them feel like sh so they're gonna judge you. And that's why every true leader, they're called weird. They're called eccentric. When you do the things of real leadership, you're gonna be called strange. Get strong enough in your own skin that when people laugh at you or when they throw stones at you, you keep on going. I respect any motherfucker that wakes up every day and work they ass off to live their life and lifestyle. A clubbing, partying, hanging out, that ain't for me. I'm gonna be out here running in the hot sun, practicing. While everybody else is clubbing and hanging out, you got your focus right. Don't expect people to understand you. Don't expect it to make sense to anybody why you've got to do this, why you have got to go, why you leave. This is a good job. I'm going. They pay you well. I'm going. Why? I don't understand. You don't have to. I'm going for me. This is something I have got to do. How are you going to make it? I don't know, but I will. The universe responds to the man or woman that refuses to be denied because that is your commitment. That business that you want, that book you want to write, that dream that you have of controlling your destiny, that is yours, that's available to you. But you've got to be willing to stand there and face disappointment, not have support, be lonely, doubt yourself sometimes, be rejected again and again and again, become bankrupt if necessary, again and again and again, and refuse to turn around until life gives it up. Life will always be to a large extent what you make it, not what circumstances will make of it, not what other people will make of it, not what other people say it will be, not what the environment will try and dictate to you, but what you make of your life. So when you're uncommon, get ready for the criticism. When you're uncommon, get ready for the opposition. When you're uncommon, get ready for the common people not to understand you. If I decided to experience the fear of rejection, the fear of no, the fear of failure, the fear of standing by myself, the fear of people not liking me, what else is available? Of taking a chance, a fear of losing it all, what else is available to me? People are going to think you're crazy. You don't have nothing but lint in the corner of your pocket. You're out here talking about living your dream. And people are laughing at you. And they're doubting you. It takes guts, ladies and gentlemen. But let me tell you, I believe in revenge like Frank Sinatra. He said the best revenge is massive success. Instead of killing them with kindness, torture with is success. All your excuses are lies little lies that you think makes life easier but they don't now i know in the morning you got that blanket giving you a warm hug and you got the the pillow which is whispering in your ear telling you it's okay telling you to stay just a little longer but don't listen to them they're lying to you listen to your alarm clock which is telling you to get up and get some Listen to the weight room, the pull-up bar, which is telling you to face reality. And listen to your will, which is telling you to get up and crush everything, regardless of how you feel. Don't negotiate with weakness. Kill it. See, in life, you can go through life, you can come up with reasons or you can come up with results. You can come up with excuses or you can come up with achievements. You can go through life blaming or you can come up with solutions. 
The choice is in your hands. Satisfaction or despair. We can choose that. You don't get better on the daggone couch. You get better by coming out here and getting the f after it every daggone day. When that alarm clock goes off at four or five in the morning, your mind says no. You just say, this is what we do now. My new norm is you get up every fucking morning at four o'clock and you suffer. That became my new fucking life. Most people want to get out of it. I said, no, motherfucker, this is your new life. This is who you are. I don't care how small it is. I don't care how minuscule the movement is, but make movement, move forward, and do that every single day, no matter what. You aren't getting any closer to your five-year plan or your three-year plan or your seven-year plan or any plan that you've got unless you get up and start getting after it. Today, you can't just say you want it. You can't watch the video and say, I want it as bad as I want to breathe. It's true to say it. But when it's showtime, when the sun comes up, you got all the books, you got all the tapes, you got all the access. Now it's time to hunt. And what separates you from everybody else is that when it's time to hunt, you're ready to hunt. Everybody wants to prize, but nobody loves the process. Everybody wants to be a champion, but nobody's willing to put in the work that it takes to be a champion. Everybody wants to hold up the trophy and say, man, I did it, but nobody's willing to put in the work that it takes to do it. I love the process. I love the thought of working for what I want. And I firmly believe you're never supposed to wish for it more than you're willing to work for it. Your expectations are never supposed to exceed your effort. But a lot of people, they wish, and they're not willing to work. And the great thing about life, life has a funny way of testing all of us and seeing how bad we really want what it is that we say we want. When you work for something, it gives you a different type of attachment to it. The harder you work, the harder it is to surrender. That's why cats can give up so easy. They ain't got nothing invested. But when a cat work for something, like when a cat been sacrificed for something, where well, you gonna have a cold day in hell before you take it from them? Write down one or two things that you're going to commit to doing every single day, no matter what. You're gonna use that motivation to become a machine every single day, no matter what. You don't think about it. When you have built a habit, it's ingrained in your nervous system in such a way that the brain doesn't even have to consider whether or not it'll get done. It just gets done because you committed. Commit once to the thing that you're going to do, and then you do it every single day. That is what transforms you. It's not the grand visions, it's the tiny actions that move towards a worthy ideal. The good feelings in your body is an indication that there's something that you want. Now you get to work by doing it every single day. There's a lot said in our self-help culture about starting things. You have a business that you want to start? Yeah, you should absolutely go and start that. You have a project that you've been thinking about for a while? Go start. There's this whole idea that if you can just get yourself to start, you know, starting's the hardest thing. You've got to get into it. Go for it. Do it. Stop talking about it. Start. The problem is, if people are bad at starting, they're even worse at finishing things. They take all of this enjoyment from starting, forgetting that there is untold enjoyment in finishing. The satisfaction of getting something done, of feeling like you have a completed project, of getting to the end of it and being able to put that stamp that says, I'm done, I finished, I don't need to look at this again, it's done. There is so much enjoyment that we can take from that that we do not get when we half-heartedly move from one project to the next. As soon as one gets difficult or lacks interest, we move on to the next one. Are you interested in achieving these goals or are you committed? If you're interested, you'll do what's convenient. You'll come up with stories and excuses and reasons why you can't. But if you're committed, you will do whatever it takes. You'll let go of your stories. You'll let go of your excuses. You'll let go of all the reasons you currently have that are formulating your identity of yourself. And you'll learn how to let that go and become who you are destined to become. You're trying to get to the next level and you're just interested. you kidding yourself. Forget about it. If you want to get to the next level, if you want to eat it, if you want to live it, if you want to be it, if you want to do it, stop talking about it and give me full commitment.
You can be the person who says, this is going to f***ing work no matter what happens, no matter how frustrated I get, no matter how angry I get, no matter what, I'm f***ing doing this. If you're committed, you'll start today to let go of your stories, your excuses, your reasons why you can't and why you won't. You'll upgrade your knowledge. You'll upgrade your skills. You'll come in every single day and figure out how you can achieve those goals. It's about executing regardless. Regardless of your emotions, these test days, they test your fortitude, your endurance, your discipline, your grit, your dedication, your determination, your mental toughness at the very moment when everything in you wants to do absolutely nothing. You got to get the job done. Stop having dialogue with your emotions. Stop negotiating with your feelings and start to act. That's where people separate themselves from the pack. That's where people earn the right to success. They earn the money. They earn the life. They earn the relationship. They earn the body in those little moments where they don't want to do what they need to do, but move forward regardless of how they feel. That's what champions know, champions understand, and champions f***ing thrive on. At the end of your feelings is possibly nothing. But at the end of your principle is a promise. And some of you are where you are. If you could be real with yourself, you have gotten yourself in some mess because of your feelings. We are losing control. And it's time for those of you in this room to take control. You've held up your someday. Either you didn't get the right information or you got it, you didn't use it, you're not getting up early enough. I don't know what you're doing. But when you leave, all I want for you is to live your someday. No more playing after today. And here's the crazy part. All you got to do is look in the mirror. All you got to do is deal with yourself and then we're going to get to a whole other level. Because the only one that is stopping you is you. I need you to take control over every single area and then someday going to be your day. Excuses are for weak people. If you're going to make it happen, get your ass up and get to work. No more excuses. No more, I'll start tomorrow. No more, just this once. No more, accepting the shortfalls of my own will. No more, taking the easy road. No more, waiting for the perfect moment. And no more, indecision. And no more, lies. No more, weakness. Now is the time for strength. And through strength, and through will, and through unwavering discipline, I will become who I want to be. Suffocate your bullshit excuses and go do something. Stop running from it and run to it! Stop telling me what you're going through. The greats, they get to it, they go through it. And the harder it is, the better. Make it work! Let's go! The decisions you make right now is up to you. Take full ownership of your time, of your mind, of your day. Hard work works. And you know what's great about our culture, y'all? The world's lazy. It's a good thing for you and me. Everybody will talk about it. Everybody will post about it. But nobody wants to roll up their sleeves and just go get it. And so what that means for me, I don't have to be the most qualified. I don't have to be the most talented. All I got to begin to do is to apply myself. And by default, I'm going to separate myself from the crowd. If you set out and you say you're going to do something, do yourself a favor and don't lie to yourself. Because that is the worst thing that an individual can ever do. You think you lying to your peers. You think you lying to your teacher. You think you lying to your coach. At the end of the day, when you look in the mirror, you lying to you. Because that's your life. You make your bed, you got to lay in it. Your life matters. What you do in your life matters. You were born to do something great with your life. You were put here for a reason, which is to make a difference in the world, which is to change your own family's tree, which is to do something great with your life. I promise you, you were put here for that in little ways and in big ways. And the actions of your life will echo into eternity. The question is, will that echo for you be a whisper into eternity or a roar? And you get to decide based on the actions you take every day in your life, whether the life of you, whether it had a big meaning and it roars into eternity, or whether you play small and you just whisper into eternity. 
you get to choose that. There's something in you that says, I'm not going to focus on the general economy. I want to focus on my personal economy. There's something in you that says the most dependable hand in the world is the one at the end of your wrist. There's something in you that says, always strive to get on top in life because it's the bottom that's overcrowded. You are different. You have greatness within you. It's very, very simple to get what you want, but it's not easy. It's your job to make yourself do the crap you don't want to do so you can be everything that you're supposed to be. And you're so damn busy waiting to feel like it. And you're never going to, ever. No one's coming, no one. No one's coming to push you. No one's coming to tell you to turn the TV off. No one's coming to tell you to get out the door and exercise. Nobody's coming to tell you to apply for that job that you've always dreamt about. Nobody's coming to write the business plan for you. It's up to you. And because you're only ever going to do the things that you feel like doing right now or that feel good right now, unless you understand that you've got to parent yourself, you've got to push yourself, you're not going to make your dreams come true. If you want to live your best life, your absolutely best life, you got to do me a huge favor. You got to watch them choices you make. People make bad choices. They wake up and they make another bad choice. And they make another bad choice. Now they got a habit of bad choices, right? And they like, how did I get here? Choices. How did I get here? You trying to get to certain places, but you ain't making the choices that's going to get you there. You all in your feelings. The problem is that most people, they like, they can't get up in the morning. They ain't got no energy. They don't got the energy to keep up with me. I'm like, boo, ain't nothing wrong with you. You just ain't got the stamina. You just ain't got the energy. You can't smart everything. You can't outthink everything. Some stuff is just, you gotta be powerful. It's just some stuff that you gotta have stamina for. You just too slow. It just take you too long. You wake up, take you three weeks to do what it can take 24 hours to do. It don't make you a bad person, but you gonna forever be average because to be great, you got to keep up. No alarm clock needed. My passion wakes me up. My drive wakes me up. My determination wakes me up. My ability to be, do, and act whatever I want, it wakes me up. What wakes you up? What drives you? Why are you playing this game? You gotta begin with the end in mind. So whatever your dream or your goal is, you gotta wake up every day to it. You gotta go to bed with it. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? You gotta read stuff. The music you listen to, everything you do, got to pour into that dream. Don't give up on yourself. Don't throw the towel in so quickly. Many people give up on the one yard line. You know the human spirit is powerful. There's nothing as powerful. It's hard to kill the human spirit. There's greatness in you. And you've got to learn how to tune out the critics outside and the critic inside. And says, I'm going to do this. I'm going to harness my will. And I'm not going to let anything stop. I deserve this. Working on yourself, talking to yourself. That's so very important. Overcoming the negative conversation, that inner dialogue is going on all the time. You've got to stand up inside yourself sometimes and say, shut up. I'm in control here. You've got to have an uplifted expression. Watch your body posture. All of these things affect you psychically. Start working and developing yourself now and prepare yourself for what it is that you want because you expect to get it. All I need you to do is speak up and say, I expect to win. Declare that it's over, that yesterday was the last day that you were a loser. Like yesterday was the last day you expected to come up short. When you set out for a goal, expect it to happen. Expect to be successful. Expect it to be positive. If you can expect it, if you can wake up feeling like a winner, if you can wake up talking like a winner, if you can expect that everything you do will come out winning, I guarantee you, you never ever have to come up short again. It might be year two, three, four before you get your big win, but you can decide now, I'm gonna walk, talk, and be a different person. You decide that. You're the lead character in the story of your life. Everything has to do with you intending to win. Too many of you are playing with your business. If you make that shift, I'm going to win. We're going to play to win now. We're not playing to play. We're not playing to see how we do. We're not playing for fun. Once you start getting some winning, you start changing. You talk different. You walk different. All of a sudden, this isn't the same damn human being. You can change you. You'd be surprised what a little winning would do. 
You'd be surprised how good you'd be if you just decide to win. Be number one in your office, number one in your region. And when you start stacking them up, your life can change. Where does the switch come from? The overdrive. It is the thing that allows you to go the extra distance. To dig a little deeper. To push a little harder. It takes both emotion and logic to reach your maximum potential. To really give everything you have to go beyond your limits. Because emotion and logic will both reach their limitations. And when one fails, you need to rely on the other. When it just doesn't make any logical sense to go on, that's when you use your emotion, your anger, your frustration, your fear to push further, to push you to say one thing, I don't stop. When your feelings are screaming that you have had enough, when you think you are going to break emotionally, override that emotion with concrete logic and willpower that says one thing, I don't stop. Fight weak emotions with the power of logic. Fight the weakness of logic with the power of emotion. And in the balance of those two, you will find the strength to say to yourself, I don't stop. I didn't get to where I am. I didn't get here being lazy. I didn't get here binge watching TV. I didn't get here taking days off. I personally know what it takes. One day I made a decision that enough is enough. I'm tired of being average. I'm tired of being good. I'm tired. I made a decision. Enough is enough. It's showtime. In order for you to go from one level to the next level, in order for any woman to transition, for any man to transition, the thing that they want must be greater than the thing they currently have. You only transition from one level to the next when you tired of the level you are. You don't belong at the bottom, and it's time for you to get your butt from down there. It's time for you to stop being comfortable at the bottom. Get your butt up and get to where you're supposed to be. Get where you belong. Do what you're supposed to do. Live like you're supposed to live. You got to kill. Every single day of my life, I feel like giving a hundred and fifty. Every single day, I don't have days where I don't feel like it. Why? Because I'm counting on me. My wife's counting on me. My son's counting on me. I don't have days to waste. And your grind has to match your dream. You can't go where you used to go. You can't do what you used to do. And now you got to pick your grind up. And I need you to wake up every single day. And I need you to use your 24 hours like you've never used it before. No excuses, no more complaining, no more giving up. What's that thing that's gonna pump you up and get you over that hill? What's gonna pump you up and get you over that mountain? What's gonna pump you up and get you past that disease? What's gonna pump you up and get you past bankruptcy? What's gonna pump you up and get you to the other dog on side? Come on, you can win! If you do what is easy, your life will be hard. But if you do what is hard, your life will be easy. You got the little voices in your head. And you know what they're saying? They're saying, it's okay. You've done enough. Take a little rest. It's fine. You can take the day off. You don't need to go hard. That's what those little voices are saying. But you've got another voice in your head that's asking you a question. It's asking you, what could you be? What could you be? What could you be if you worked as hard as you could? What could you be if you imposed real discipline in your life? What could you be? I said you crank up the volume on that voice. Crank up the volume on that question. Max it out. So easy to put things off. So easy to say you're gonna do it tomorrow. Well, I want you to reprogram your brain and tell yourself that tomorrow is not a viable option. Tomorrow doesn't work. You do it today. You get it done today. That's what you do. Stop rationalizing. Stop making excuses. Stop telling yourself little watered down assessments of where you're really at. Tell yourself the truth. Are you making yourself better? Are you making yourself worse? Are you moving forward or are you moving back? Are you making progress or are you stagnating? Make the decision, yes or no. Are you going to work out today? Yes or no. Are you going to win? Yes or no. 
Don't allow for any gray area in there. Get rid of the debate. And you know the right decision to make. So go and make it. Now, if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you got to be willing to take the hits and not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you want to be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. I'm trying to tell you, you can win. You can win. Despite the circumstance, you can win. Despite the adversity, you can win. Despite the situation, you can win. Despite how much money you got in your bank, you can win. Despite the fact if your parents in your life or not, you can win. Despite the fact that you started behind, you can win. You can pull it off. You can't be good and be a legend. You can't be great, really, and be a legend. You gotta be phenomenal. I want you to push for legend. It is the process of the grind that shapes you and forms you. It's not the game. You think you become a champion on the field? You don't. You become a champion when ain't nobody watching you. You're doing your own drills and your own way. You're doing what coach tell you to do and you're doing your own stuff. You become a champion in the dark when ain't nobody looking. You don't become no champion when you put no dog or helmet on. You become a champion the way you eat. You become a champion the way you think. You become a champion in your grind. When nobody knows what you're doing, when you put in those extra reps, when you're watching those videos and you're getting inspired, when you change your music and you just get on stage and you shine, it's the process that makes you sweet. The biggest war you're ever going through is right between your own ears. It's in your mind. The mind is a very powerful thing. It has a tactical advantage over you all the time. It knows where you don't want to go. So it will guide you away from that. And that's why the mind will always win. Until you can reprogram it. You gotta figure out a way to reprogram your mind to get outside the box. Whatever my mind said I don't want to do, I realize I must do that. The greats do things when they don't always want to. And that's the separation. Without discipline, they're nothing. And discipline is doing what you hate to do, but do it like you love it. Because really, the only person that you're fighting every day is yourself. It's not your boss. It's not this or that. Yeah, those are all obstacles. A lot of them, you cannot control those obstacles. But you can control yourself. We have to regain control of our mind. How you gain mental toughness, how you become the person you want to be, is constantly facing the things that you don't want to face. The only way anything gets accomplished, you got to work hard. I can't remember what the f*** is in this paragraph to pass this test to get in the military. Read again. Still not getting it. Read again. But if you're not getting it, write it out. And guess what happened? I got it. I can't swim. I'm negative buoyant. Go back again. I can't swim. Go back again. Go back again. Go back again. I got it. I realize if I keep going back and going back and going back, your mind will say, okay, we're gonna figure it out because he is not going to stop. To find real permanent peace, you first must go through suffering. You must go to the dark side of who you are. Every day I demand more from myself than anybody else could possibly expect. I don't compete with other people, I compete with what I'm capable of. A person that's obsessed and wants to just get there, they don't give a f what the temperature is. They no longer care, because they know no matter what's out there, no matter if it's snowing, if it's a damn tropical storm, if it's 20 below, they don't care, they're gonna run. It doesn't matter what the f**k's out there, what's in front of me, I'm just gonna go. And that's how you wanna get your mind. You have to train your brain by doing things that make you uncomfortable consistently. To build this mindset that when things get hard, we don't shy away, we don't quit, we attack. I'm seeing through all those walls. I'm getting to where I wanna go. You have to literally visualize the connection between what you're doing on a day-by-day -day basis with what you're wanting. What do you want yourself to look like 10 years from now? What do you want your bank account to look like? What do you want to look like physically six months from now or a year from now? You have to connect the dots. You have to remind yourself that these little things that you do are going to lead to the big things. If you think that you've given everything, you really have it. If you think you're working hard, you're not working hard enough. You can always do more. You always have another gear, another level of performance. You can always push a little bit harder, get up a little earlier, work a little longer. Whatever it is you want more of, you have complete control over whether you get it or not. People don't have limits. We put limits on ourselves. 